we're starting now. Hey, good morning. I'm David. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you're watching Web Mastery, your source for essential know-how, quick tips, and must-have tools to help you get more out of WordPress. I'm David from ClickWP, and today we are talking about publishing um, recipes with rich snippets on your WordPress site. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you what rich snippets are and um, why you should use a recipe plugin when publishing recipes on on your wordpress site and um right right okay sorry i am I, i'm trying to show you my screen you think i'd be better at this after a couple of a uh, couple of uh, weeks doing this but you know, <laughs> I'm juggling too many things. I need a producer. Right, so um, here's my screen and I want to show you a recipe, a recipe post. So um, you may currently be publishing recipes on your site and you're doing so in a very simple way, uh, sort of like this. So I've got a, a recipe post here. You know, it's just a, a small blog post um, and then the details of the recipe and then maybe some images. You may have a video, and here's um, here are the results. I, I really made this pizza, uh, and this is my son helping me arrange the pepperoni on the pizza. So, um, so at least I know what I'm talking about for the pizza. So this works. This is great, but you know it doesn't really take advantage of um, many of the features in uh, with that you can with a recipe plugin. So with a recipe plugin, there are a couple of things that you can do. Um, you will help you stand out in search results. So let's say you do a search for plant-based scones and you see that the results look different from your regular results, right? So um, you've got this carousel at the top or, or recipe, you know, um, recipe grid at the top here these are the featured recipes and the recipe results itself looks different you know it's, it's got star ratings um, and it's got details like how many how many minutes it may take to put together and uh, how many calories um, the 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 recipe is right so if we click through to one of the recipes so this is a client of mine, um, Luan and Molly. You do a great job with your site, love it. Um, and so, like many bloggers, they have a bit of a story behind the recipe. So, so um, details here. And then the recipe follows um, at the bottom of the post, right? And so one reason why you want to use a recipe plugin to format recipes is that you have um, details like you can adjust the servings. So you see here, as I'm adjusting the servings, the ingredients actually change numbers. So if you want to make more scones, drag the slider and then the, the recipe uh, ingredients will scale along with it all right and then of course you can print the recipe as well and um, i'll bring you to the plugin page this is the plugin that we use on clean food dirty girl um, and he's got a ex explanation here of why you want to of, of the features included in the plugin you've got ratings you can print the recipe you've got a button to to pin the recipe uh, details of the prep, cooking, uh, servings, the equipment you need, and then you know if you get the pro version of the plugin, you can link this to link the equipment to Amazon or whatever, and then uh, whenever somebody clicks through to buy uh, the mixer or or whatever that you that you use and that you list as the equipment, you get an affiliate uh, income out of it, and also there's a 
there's a call to action at the bottom of the of the recipe card so so these are all the reasons why um, we definitely recommend using a, a, a recipe plugin to help you make your recipe stand out not only in search results but also for the user because it has all these features that your users would definitely find useful all right so this next part of the video i want to show you um, i want to convert this recipe into a recipe formatted with the wp recipe maker plugin all right so to do that i'm going to edit the post okay all right hang on before that i'm going to actually copy this text Right, so I'm copying this and I'm going to show you why in a minute. So I'm going to go edit the post. And um, so this is the bit, this is the stuff that is extraneous. We're going to convert it into a recipe. So uh, I'm just going to make some space first. Okay, so the WP Recipe Maker plugin uh, works with blocks or with um, the classic editor as well. So this works on whatever your preference. If you prefer uh, blocks, you can use WP Recipe Maker or also uh, with the regular classic editor. So I'm just going to select the WPRM recipe and it's just going to add a placeholder here. So um then i'm going to click create new recipe and so what happens here is that it presents me a window where i can add in all the details of the recipe so i'm going to call this pizza okay and um, you can fill out all these fields okay so it can be a bit tedious to fill up the fields so what you can do is you can go to import and then you can use this import from text feature. So uh, earlier the text that I copied, I'm just going to paste it here. And then so now this, um, um, we are able to tell WP Recipe Maker what these details are, but we just simply highlight it and then, and then click on the appropriate button. So this is equipment. Uh, ingredients up to here instructions will be here up to here okay so my my pizza actually consists of two different parts right first we got to make the dough and then when we assemble the pizza later so you can also um, split up your ingredients into groups for example the pizza dough is um, is one part of the uh, one part of the recipe and the next part is the pizza topping itself so I select these as the ingredient group headers and same for the instructions I'm going to select a group header for the pizza dough and then next for the pizza itself so now that I've um, um, identified the parts of the recipe I've told the plugin which are the ingredients and which are, what are the ingredient groups um, I can click use these values and um, all of that would ha has now been populated into the the fields here okay I'm just going to quickly fill this out uh, this is a super simple and delicious pizza that you can make right at home. You can get great results. Okay, so this one serves um, four people. Actually, when I'm hungry, <laughs> when we're hungry, it serves probably less. Okay, prep time. You can fill in the prep time here. So prep time takes, um, 10 minutes for the pizza dough and then another yeah so let's make it let's say uh, 15 minutes 
cook time, it just takes 15 minutes to cook. Um, and then yeah, resting time. This is how long it takes the dough to rest and it takes one hour. So total time is one hour and 30 minutes. So the plugin calculates that for you. And then you just fill in your courses. So this is the main course. And so this is a pizza. Right, so now we can just double check the ingredients. Um, so extra virgin is a note, and then warm water, yeah, that's the note. Tomatoes, actually let's make that finely, chopped tomatoes. Tinned or canned. Semolina flour is optional. Shredded cheese. Okay, right, sorry. Um, and then that's it. And then and then next you can add uh, so here are your instructions, and then you can add images to your instructions. Oh talking about images, let's also add an image for the pizza. Select the image. And then you can also add a video for this. Um, I, 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 I borrowed this recipe from Sam, the cooking guy. This is the one. So then I'm just going to paste the video here. Okay, now, now we can add images to the instructions. I've already uploaded the image images, so I can just select them like this. In the bowl. Um, Top with cheese and pepperonis, and right. Okay, so that's it. That is the details. That's those are all the details for my pizza. You can fill in nutrition details as well, but <laughs> I don't have that. And and a pizza is not the most nutritious, but it is pretty delicious. Uh, um, for a healthier version, swap out the pepperoni for your favorite uh, low-fat toppings. Okay, so so that's me done creating the, 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 the recipe. I'm going to click save and close. And what's going to happen is that WP Recipe Maker adds that into the post as with a complete preview of how it will look like, right? Complete the video and the notes and the keyword here. So the stuff that I had earlier, the stuff that I had earlier, so this is now um, um, redundant. I can delete them. Alright, so now I'm going to update the post. And then now if we view the post, we'll see that we've got this um, recipe card. Looks much more professional than just a list of ingredients and instructions. Um, you can have the recipe with or without pictures. You can print the recipe. Okay, so you can choose to have print the, the, the recipe with the instruction images or not. And you can also pin the recipe. So I'm just going to demonstrate this. When you pin it to Pinterest, all of the details are included as well, all of the recipe details. So for example, I've pinned this. If we go. Okay, it missed that that time. Uh, 
I think I pinned it too quickly, but but when you pin the recipe, the recipe details, um, the ingredients, and the instructions will actually bring uh, get brought over to, to to Pinterest as well. So again, that that makes it much more useful for your for your website visitors. They're able to to um, collect the recipes, pin the recipes for for later. Okay. So. Uh, that's the WP Recipe Maker plugin. It's a free plugin. Um, it's available on the wordpress.org website. So you can download the free version here. The free version is plen plus plenty of features. All right, so talking about features, um, I can show it to you. Um, WP Recipe Maker. So another one of the features is that you can you can manage your recipes centrally. All right. So the recipes are actually separate from your blog post, and this means that you can have a directory of recipes, a a, a, a recipe section on your site, <clears throat> or it also means that you could have um, repeat a recipe in a different blog post, and you can split up your recipe into different parts. So for example. Um, I could have split my, my pizza dough recipe into a, one recipe and then the, the pizza topping itself into a different recipe. So And then I would just put two of them on the same page instead of combining them into one like I did. Um, they have lots and lots of settings. Even in the free version, you can edit the, the template of the, of the recipe card, the design of the recipe card. Um, you can customize the print version, the recipe snippets. Okay, right. So there are lots and lots of version, uh, lots and lots of settings here. I'm not a recipe blogger. I'm not a food blogger. But um, if you are, or you want to be, or you're a nutritionist and you want to share recipes, I think that. Um, is worth spending the time getting to know the plugin and um, exploring what it can do for your site, right? Um, if, for example, you are just a, a casual food blogger, or you know you only post recipes occasionally, uh, one thing that you can do, or, or another alternative for you, is the w, is the recipe card blocks plugin. This is the WP Zoom recipe card plugin. It's a free plugin. It, it is a lot more lightweight than the WP Recipe Maker plugin, uh, but is it definitely looks very it looks very beautiful. It's, uh, it's got the very attractive looking recipe cards. So this is the default style. So this is the default recipe style. Um, it's got some extra features that you don't have uh, with the WP Recipe Maker plugin, or you know, is it, this is its own take on the recipes. The only thing about about um, this plugin, the WP Zoom Recipe Blocks, is that you can only use it with the block editor. You can only use it with Gutenberg. So if you're still stuck on the classic editor, or if you still prefer the classic editor then um, WP Recipe Maker is the way to go. Okay, so I, um, that's all that I wanted to share with you today. Just want to make sure that I've covered all of the details. Yep. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to check to see if there are any questions on the stream. No questions. But if you do have a question, um, please feel free to, to leave a comment later and then I will um, get back to you. Right, the final thing that I wanted to show you is, the, is how to check for the uh, rich results. So if you want to get the results in the search engines like this, right, with the rating, with the list of recipes, the way that you do that is um, You've got to publish your article with the with one of these plugins. 
both WP Recipe Maker and the WP Zoom plugin will work. And then once you've done that, copy, copy the, the URL, go to the Google Rich Results Test, right? Just if you just search for it, Google Rich Snippets Test is the first result here. And then uh, come in here, put in your recipe, put in your URL, then click test URL and Google will take a bit of time to analyze and um, um, it should come back that you know it's found a perfectly formed recipe and you'll be eligible to appear in the search results in the recipe carousel. Come on Google, you're usually faster than this. Right, so um, while you're waiting for Google, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to watch the video. Really appreciate it. Um, do give the video a like. That helps us uh, get found by other people um, and like the Facebook page as well. And I hope to see you on um, future videos. Uh, Google has finally come back. It's told us, it's confirmed for us that the page is eligible for rich results. It's got the details here. Um, couple of warnings so it tells you that the nutrition and aggregate rating are optional but not there so you know if you really want to stand out in the search results do take the time to fill in all of the fields in the recipe uh, plugin right so fill in all of the fields including the nutrition um, and even for instructions you want to do the instruction summary field because this is the that's that's what Google recommends and what they want. So, but yes, in any case, that's how you optimize your recipes and make them look as good as your food photography and also make them stand out in the search results. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you again later um, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. I'm David from ClickWP and you've been watching Web Mastery.